Yep. This is the key. It, it's you are so much better at some given field of interest if you have an actual passionate interest than anyone um, in academia. And I'm not raining on academia because it's fucking filled with brainy people that are so awesome, really awesome. It's the institution. It's the artificial scarcity of knowledge. That's the problem. And this is over. It's done. We have uh, all the classics, free books, fucking information exactly. everywhere. We have academic earth videos, lectures coming out of every nook and cranny in the world. So you cannot say that you do not have access to something. What you can say is, I have no idea where to start. Mm -hmm. And this is where you need to start with yourself, figure out what are your passions? How do they relate to other people's passions? And how can that give you uh, a way into something? Because everything can be fun. You just need to figure out why. Well, fun, interesting and shit, yeah. One shouldn't expect that everything you do with trivia necessarily is, or everything you you learn once you can for yourself decide which what is valuable information to you and what is not. We no longer need to be told. Sure, there will be scary stuff. Whether or not you have a dystopian uh, <coughs> view of what's going on. But, well, you can relate to it. And you can pass it by. I mean, what, the most well, rewarding thing that it's given me is the fact that, uh, well, now I know why watching mainstream television never quite got my goat, never was good enough. I mean, it was predictive programming and was programming me. Now I get to program me, and that is a hell of a lot more fun. And and, and the, the really interesting thing is that because we have these memes in this day and age, the whole have you uh, let me Google that for you um, and information wants to be free. Um, uh, there's just so many of these what I would call underground intellectual things in the internet era. It's, it's so novel and it's so awesome. Um, everything is open for us. Um, so so you, you can't use the excuse anymore that, um, well, it's hard to start anything. No, it's not. Just figure out who knows and then follow up on it. And make sure that you are critical because they won't have all the answers. Maybe you actually well, know something more than they do. Well, but, well, rather, I mean, if you approach someone because you, well, their words has touched you in some way or another, or you believe that they might know something about something, you, you, you make sure to conveniently inconvenience them <laughs> somehow, right? Uh, and through that dialogue, you could come upon a topic or, you know, you could grow to be so wise yourself that you redirect your master at some point or the one you approached in the first place. Well, this is uh, an interesting point, right? Because now you mentioned dialogue. And, and again, I would like to just segue a little bit back to ancient Greece. Um, we have lived in a, in a community after the last revolution where a lot of information was given free, but it was all one way. And this is not very natural. This is not the human way of communicating uh, through a book or a radio or a television. That's oration. That's not communication. Oration is only uh, like a fucking herald in the city that's uh, running uh, up on some stage yeah. saying, uh, king, Hear ye, hear yeah, ye, yeah, the, pay all your taxes unto me. Right? Exactly. And it's, it's, it's not engaging it's not something that you can use for anything it's just someone exerting their dominance on you or trying to whether they are running around with a sign that says the end is nigh or uh, claiming that the, there's going to be a census or whatever it's all one-way communication and we have moved to a point where now we can on a big scale do two-way communication mm -hmm. um, three-way Four way, way, five way. We can we can we can have a virtual presence uh, pub if we want to. <laughs> ah. The the drinking will be a problem, but at least it, it won't be a problem. That there won't be any fights. We might have some uh, 
denial of service. Well, I mean, I'm sure we can simulate both the drinking and the fights and uh, <coughs> the whatnot behind the closed doors. Um, of course. Anyways, the, 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 the point really is that, that we are now at a point where dialogue uh, is, is, is getting its real renaissance because relevant people can, can have dialogues without being limited um, by distance. 